Welcome to The Courage Effect. I'm Suzanne Weller, and this is a show about growth and unleashing what's possible. You will hear inspiring stories about what courage looks like, how we navigate what's getting in our way, and the opportunities that surface when we choose courage over comfort. Let's get started. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to The Courage Effect. This is Suzanne, and this is one of our monthly bonus shows with the Courage Up Challenge. I am here after 30 days, end of August. Hope that all of you have had a wonderful month. I hope that you embraced the previous 30 day challenge, which was meeting somebody new. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that. And I'm also going to invite you to the next challenge for the 30 days for Courage Up. This is an exciting one and it is aligned with back to school because as we quickly are getting into the fall and I am going to be doing a fall reset show coming up soon because for me, the true reset of the year comes in the fall. And I think that's just for, you know, with so many years of life with going back to school. Um, our theme is really going to be anchoring on that and how we can look at the fall and experience it maybe in a different way. But before I invite you to that new challenge, I want to talk a little bit about last month's challenge. So last month's Courage Up Challenge was meeting somebody new. And I have to say, I definitely did this. I've been wanting to re-engage with people both in person and in online communities. And it has really and truly fueled me. And it has, it has expanded my mind. It has expanded my perspective on things. And it's taught me new things at the same time. I have also met a couple of new people who have been really pretty fantastic and I wasn't surprised by it, but I know that these are going to be people that I will have relationships with for a longer term. These aren't just going to be one and done meet and greet, which is always great and welcome, but I know that there's a couple of people that we just hit it off at a level where that relationship will really keep going. So I'm excited for that. I also want to say that I hosted my Rose Garden Happy Hour a few nights ago, and it was such a successful event. Thank you to all of you who registered for that. Um, some of you who are listeners, some of you who are clients, friends, people in my broader network. The event sold out. It was well attended. It was so much fun, and it was fantastic to see people just engage, to really be meeting each other in real time, whether I was actually connecting them or they were taking the initiative on their own. They were actually stepping into meeting somebody directly. It was a smaller group. I kept it at 25 so that it was a really safe space and allowed for people to connect quite easily. I also, a couple of weeks ago, had published a Substack article on my Reimagine Growth space. I will put a link to this in the show notes, which was about networking and reframing the idea of networking and how do we really look at those relationships to expand out. And this was really within that same theme of last month's Courage Up Challenge. I would love for you to read that article if you haven't, because it will give you some idea of how do we tend to you know, stay in our lane maybe sometimes a little bit too much? We get a little bit too comfortable, maybe stay in our comfort zone, and we are not allowing ourselves to take the initiative and meet people. We are waiting for it to happen. We are waiting for other people to do it as opposed to just jumping in and doing it ourselves. And it can be really hard for people. I understand that. I understand you know, what I call the ick factor. Just talking to strangers cannot can be something that people avoid at all costs. It's also, you know, it's when you don't know somebody, it can be hard to talk about yourself as well to how do you introduce yourself? How do you speak about yourself? I talk about that in the article in addition just to some other tips with engaging. It is a learned practice and it is something that we have to experiment with. So that was one of the other reasons why I wanted to host that happy hour was to give people the opportunity to just come in and to, to see what happens, to talk about themselves maybe in a new way. So as you have met new people, I'm curious, what are some of those relationships? What maybe did you do differently? And are you getting maybe more comfortable in talking about yourself in a new way? Um, it can be hard. And I also, I wanna just really acknowledge that this is a difficult thing, but relationships are vital. We know that during the pandemic, our average network shrunk by 
that is pretty sizable. And when we think about that too, these are the relationships that over time, it doesn't mean that we have long-term relationships with everybody, but we do have core in various groups that we are comfortable with and different types of relationships, right? There's people that we have, you know, as Michael Melcher said, he was on our show um, talking about the invisible network, his book. We have weak ties. We have people that are going to be sponsors. We have people that are going to be our champions. We have deeper relationships. There's a lot of different relationships that we have out there. So this gives you an opportunity as you're meeting new people to figure out what do you want these relationships to be? You have control over it. And I'm hoping that the new people that you met over the past month turn out to be exactly what you were hoping for, or maybe even more. The next Courage Up Challenge for the month ahead, the next 30 days, this is one, as I said, that is really focused on learning. And I think that this is really coming with the back to school theme. The challenge is for all of you to learn something new in the next 30 days. That can be pretty simple. That can be maybe, you know, reading an article or a book, watching a TV show or a documentary, going out and talking to somebody, maybe taking a class, maybe going to a lecture. There's so many different levels of which you can do this. I really want to encourage all of you to maybe find a new source, maybe a new news source, maybe a publication or a media platform that you are not used to engaging in. Go out of your way to find something different to find new perspectives. That is incredibly vital as we are in the States, hotly in election season. As we are looking at the candidates that we are going to be voting for at a countrywide level and also at a more local level, some of the initiatives that we have going on, we all need to take the initiative and the responsibility of educating ourselves on the issues so that we can cast our vote responsibly. We can affect change through that vote. I vote consistently. I tend to leave my voters pamphlet, leave my research later than I would like to, maybe in the last week before the election, and I'm scurrying around a little bit finding that information. I have committed to doing it earlier now as we go through. I've started to really look more into the local issues and more of the candidates. Who can we actually influence or, or what can we influence through the people we are electing? And how can I support in swing states, in, in the states where I really want to have a candidate that is going to move the needle in the direction where I really hope that this country goes? I want to support that. I want to invest my time and my energy in that. And I have to say, voting for me is not just about what is best for me, but is what is best for our communities, what is best for our country. So learning something new also challenges me to that. It gets me out of my own headspace where it's not just about the benefit of myself, the benefit of maybe my family or my local community, but the larger benefit. I want to up the ante on that impact. I want to take responsibility for how I'm able to make change for other people and not just myself. So please learn something new. It doesn't have to be election related. I just brought that up as something that is, that is important. But what are the things that maybe you've been wanting to learn? Maybe there's a class you've been wanting to sign up for. Maybe there's some lecture, book reading, something that you can actually be a part of and you can actually get into something different. What is it going to be? Don't wait for something to force you to learn it. That's the other thing that I'm thinking about. And I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here, but I'm going to mention it. Uh, a few weeks ago, my husband and I watched Castaway. And I hadn't seen Castaway since I had seen it in the theater years ago. But in that movie, it's such a powerful movie. And I really was thinking about, you know, how Tom Hanks's character goes through this massive life change. Obviously he's in a plane crash and he's living on an Island to learn some incredibly powerful life lessons. And it's really about his relationship with himself. So many of the lessons came from who he was and who he wanted to be. Now that he knew that life was so precious, that is a very hard lesson to learn. We shouldn't wait for those hard lessons to be thwarted upon us. And yes, I don't know how many of us are actually going to be stuck on a desert island or um, how many of us are actually going to have something 
that severe happen to us to make us really, you know, reshuffle our deck of cards, our internal deck of cards and look at ourselves. But let's try to learn new things. Let's try to challenge ourselves, maybe shift our thinking a little bit before those things happen. Things will happen. Bad things, hard things, wonderful things. Maybe it's an opportunity. Maybe it's not just a challenge. How can we learn something to become more adaptable and build that resilience so when it happens, we won't be so brittle. We'll be a little more open to it and we'll pass through it a little more comfortably. I believe that learning gives us the ability to be adaptable. And that doesn't mean that it's always like, this is the right way, this is the wrong way, this is the good way, this is the bad way. Let's think about opening up our minds in different ways. Let's think about opening up perspectives and possibilities and learning as something that teaches us in that greater scheme of things. There's power there. And we have the ability to do that for ourselves. We can crack open that book. We can read that blog post. We can watch that documentary. We can have conversations with people that maybe we know think differently from us. How do we challenge our thinking and how do we learn something new? So I'm excited to hear what you're going to learn in the next 30 days. I don't know what mine will be, but it's going to be something and you will hear about it in a month. So join me in this Courage Up Challenge. Share your stories. You can reach out to me directly via the courageeffect.com website. You can also do social posts with Courage Up hashtag. Please engage and thank you for being part of this courageous community. I love spreading courageous contagion and I love seeing it in action, both in person and virtually and reading the stories and hearing, hearing from people. It is fantastic. So thank you for being here with me. Happy end of summer and let's stay courageous together. Courage up. The Courage Effect is brought to you by Weller Collaboration. We're a team of talented coaches, executive advisors, and consultants who partner with our clients to enhance their leadership, become more adaptable, and to really get out of their own way to work more effectively together. More information about Weller Collaboration is available via the links in our show notes. Please spread the word about The Courage Effect. Rate and review your favorite episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your favorite podcast platform. Share with your colleagues, family, or anyone in your universe who might be inspired by a good dose of courage. If you have feedback, thoughts, or would like to apply to be a guest, please contact us via our website. Benny Mathers is our producer. Dave Nelson composed our theme music. Alex Sandyforth is our administrative maven. And I'm your host, Suzanne Weller. Well,